god, this is awful. <laughs> Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yeah, about that. <laughs> the hell? I'm so excited, but I'm also terrified to play this game. <laughs> hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Alan Wake 2. I would just like to give a huge thank you to Remedy Entertainment for providing me an early copy of this game. I am so grateful because I have been looking forward to this sequel for a very long time. I, I know a lot of people have been looking for this longer because that we weren't sure if there was a sequel coming out because uh, the first game ended on a cliffhanger and uh, I played this game I think four or five years ago uh, On the channel, so if you haven't checked out my playthrough of Alan Wake 1, please go ahead and do that It's very important that you watch that before this game But yeah, it just ended on a cliffhanger and I remember everybody telling me I guess they're not making the second game because you know we, They haven't heard any news about it. So when they announced this I was so happy because I'm like we're gonna get a conclusion, but also thinking back to it now the way Alan Wake 1 was, it's obviously like on an older generation and also it doesn't look realistic. Alan Wake 2 looks super realistic. And I heard that some of the cutscenes are like live action, so great! I'm gonna be absolutely terrified when I play this! <laughs> Before we get started, however, if you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, that is patreon.com slash a girl in a game, you can get early access to my Alan Awake 2 videos, or you can check out my YouTube memberships, which is essentially the same thing, just everything here on YouTube, which also provides you with early access to my videos. I have been debating on what to do about the difficulty mode, because Alan Wake, I'm, obviously I'm not good at video games, okay? You guys did not come here to my channel for good gameplay content because that's not about me. I'm more about the story and I love like discussing it and stuff like that. I'm worried that this game might be too hard for me. I don't know. I might just play it on story for a little bit. If I'm able to transfer it to like normal or something, I'll probably do that. So for the sake of my sanity, I'm going to play it on story mode because uh, Alan Wake 1 was kind of like terrifying too. So I don't know. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story. So are we going off the canon that Alan has been an in the dark for like the Sometimes past 10 years? Since to the game took like, you know, 10 years for a sequel. <laughs> I wonder if that's what they're gonna do. I tried not to look too much into the main storyline, like what the plot is, because I don't I don't wanna know. I've only seen what was shown during like showcases and stuff. So I've seen some in of the gameplay story, and it's horrific. <laughs> And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. No, dude, you've been in here for like a long time. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm getting nervous we haven't really done anything yet. So I know for this game we're playing as two protagonists. Uh, one named Saga and the, and the other named Alan, which is the protagonist of the last game. Obviously, and the name of the game. <laughs> Who the heck is this? Hello, sir. Put some clothes on. Oh my God, he's like butt ass naked. Oh God. Hang on a second. I think there's like a wait. Can I turn the nudity off? I'm pretty sure there's a thing for that. All right, cool. He's got underwear on. Thank God. Anyway, who are you, sir? Oh, I can't see your face. Oh. Oh, this is weird. It's too dark. I don't like this. Um. Light plays a huge, important role in this story. Because that means all the demons and shit can stay away from me. And I don't have any light, so... I don't like this. Is this Barry? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to assume who that is. Oh god, there's some light right there. What do you mean you should go? Are you the cops? Already gone. What? 
Are they not gonna help me? Great. Oh my god, I, I... What the hell was that? Oh, I'm getting out of here. Can you run, sir? I don't think he can. I'm pressing all the buttons. He can't run. But somebody's whispering. I don't need to... I don't want to hear that. Don't whisper in my ear. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> this is awful! I'm just playing some naked guy and he doesn't have anything to defend himself with. He don't even have a flashlight, which is the most important thing. Oh god, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! Absolutely not! Are we already starting the game off like this? Dude, I'm gonna have a heart attack before I even like finish this. What the f***? See what I mean? This is more scary than the first one! I wasn't that jumpy with the first one, was I? <laughs> oh, we can- we can run? Oh, thank god, run. Get- get out of here. I'm not turning around. Whatever is behind me- Oh! <gasps> is that the cabin? Oh! What do I do? I don't have a light! Oh no. Oh no. This is not good! This is not good! What do I do? Where do I go? In here? Oh, light! Help! Help! Please! Please! No! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't- ah! game it wasn't exactly like a cult it was more like a curse wasn't it unless they're like intertwining now god that was only the opening and I'm already scared This is gonna be a crazy game. I already know it. The first one was already crazy, and this one's gonna be even more. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, mom. How are you? Oh, Sean Ashmore's in this too. Than I thought. Sean Ashmore was uh, so protag in, in Quantum Break, oh which is mom, Remedy's other game, ball, which I played on the murdering. channel too. <laughs> what happened? Just. Work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Dude, I hate it when, when people do that. I love you both. That happens to me a lot when I'm trying to watch shows with Christmas. people and they just watch without me. Love you too. <laughs> say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Close. Bye, Cauldron lay closed. <sighs> Alright, Sam Lake with us. <laughs> Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. I got some coffee too, so I was also drinking with them. <laughs> 
can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Who's voicing, um... Sam Lake's case? Because obviously that's not what Sam Lake sounds like. <laughs> he just uses his face model, um, in Here the game. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Alright. We're playing as Saga, so this is the newest to character. To show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? Is he dead? Eaten by a bear. Don't joke about what that, sir. That's that probably what happened. Ooh, return one invitation. Oh, okay. All right, hang on a second. I might move my camera around. Sorry, guys, if I keep like moving my camera around, I just don't know where to put it. It's hard to know because like every game that I play, they have different I think I layout. <laughs> Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Okay, so this is the map. Mine place. Oh god, witch's hut. Witch's ladle. Cauldron lake shore. Witch's finder city. Yeah, so as you can clearly tell, there's a theme going on here. Oh, is this the guy? That must be him. Cauldron lake rental cabins. Hey there. Hi. Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. Mm hmm I just figured that, you know, that, uh... We're right here. Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at the crime scene. Oh god, these people look like they're gonna be difficult to deal with. Not this guy, the other dude. <laughs> any witnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Probably just trying to look around and stuff. Not that we have anything against. Safety. If I had to guess. Because Alan Wake is a famous Don't author worry. and he goes Sheriff missing, they probably were trying to see if they could find him. Ago. Give me a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell about the heart. I was getting to that. Turn off your radio. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, waiting. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. All right. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, case board. The mine place. Dude, what mine is this, Sherlock the Holmes? Mine palace technique. <laughs> exactly. The clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Cool. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. Anyway. Everything we know about the previous murders. Oh, so there's even more. Worth taking another look. Caseboard is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze the clues and process the investigation. You are now free to navigate the caseboard or leave by pressing circle. Okay. Hang on, I just want to see, like, what do we got here? Ted Lane dentist stab wound, Wendy Davis teacher, and Piercy Wolf store owner. Okay, all victims reported missing in 2010. No other commodities. Okay. Wait, can I look around? Is this weird to, like, say? 
I want to see everything. This is kind of cool. Interesting how she has like a deer head and considering we're dealing with like a cult. Oh, that must be her kid, Logan. Yeah. What's in here? I see you're oh. already hard at work, Anderson. Oh, does not pause the game so be mindful of nearby threats. Let's head down the hill to Oh the my scene. god. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm going to have to go there. Nature. When we're not going to get attacked. Be a headache. It's too much sky. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. Okay. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real funny, Anderson. Oh, we can run. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were allowed to. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Oh my gosh, mirror peak. Let's see. Can I like... There we go. The mighty mountain in the distance is no more than another mirror peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. That's important to remember. The mirroring, inverting... You know, <laughs> just saying. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Is this just like, oh, we can split off from him. That's interesting. Okay, uh, maybe not yet because I don't know where this is gonna lead. Not a bad place to get murdered. Why would you say that? Back to nature is your thing. Girl. <laughs> Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think There's the local law pathway. has a sense to put up a tarp? See, this was making me nervous. Like, I, I do remember Cauldron Lake and just like Bright Falls in general was very confusing sometimes with the map. Alright, here we go. Hi. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. All right. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body. Yeah, Shall for real. We? You guys are kind of stupid. Can I just see the body, please? All right, there it is. Investigate now, the crime is the scene. scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures Damn. and stuff. Okay. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Let me see. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. All right. The way that the bodies are. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commodities in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem. Clues, the key images can be selected to press X. Okay. This here Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Nope. Okay, so this is a new line of investigation. Consistent with previous murders. Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigating. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable in the case board and goals. Investigate the crime, yep. You're now free to examine the case or, or leave completely when, when, with this objective. Okay, since we don't have anything just yet, but... Find evidence. Alright. Tied on down. The wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Mm -hmm. Inside Chest stab wound. wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Yep. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Okay, and then do I just like 
open the clue and do I just like put these down? Okay, heart was removed on the table nearby. Was this murder interrupted? Yes, by those people. This is gonna get some getting used to. I think I have to like drop it nearby here. Yeah. Heart this is the from previous chest, murder. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Mm-hmm. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved to open a question unlocked. Deduction. As you advance in the investigation, new questions will be unlocked. Updating your goals. Okay. Check your goals. Yep. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Alright, cool. Murders match previous cases but interrupt them. May find something new in the leads this time. The victim and the killers. Alright, let's take a look. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Is there anything else I'm allowed to look at? Oh, here we go. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Hmm. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Oh. I haven't heard a word about him since. Oh. Until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Robert Nightingale. 13 years ago. That's when Alan Wake went and disappeared. Fascinating. Okay. Okay, we'll go for the killers. That's one. Victim. And this one. There we go. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Cry my passion Quite or premeditated. Alright, let's see if we can find more. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Okay, so he's been missing since- oh wait. What- what happened after- wait, oh god, what happened if he got fired? What happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. No, none of this, like, story has any happy ending. So he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So wait, does no one remember the Alan Wake? Because Al okay, Alan Wake is a famous author in this universe. Like he's a number one best-selling whatever in New York, and he came here on vacation with his wife because he had writer's block and he wanted to write a new story. And then you know all the events of the game happen, and then he ended up saving his wife but sacrificing himself, so he's trapped under the lake. That was thirteen years ago, and and he's saying that people who are like part of this you know investigation, the murders are people who went missing 13 years ago, or were there 13 years ago. So, is it Alan killing them? Because he's writing the stories, right? This is very hard to explain if you never played the first game, but if he was the one who was writing the stories while he's in the dark, and they're coming true, does that mean he's the one killing these people? Or he's the one who's murdering these people? Uh, kidnapping them? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me go back to the mine palace. This is a lot to work with. Nightingale went off the demon after he got fired. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Mansell State Question Will at the time of disappearance. Okay, then we got the beer. Okay, is there anything else we can look at? There has to be more. 
I think I have to like leave it, this area though. Lake house. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Okay. Nice talking to you too. Well, that didn't help. What about back here? Is there anything I can find? Hello. What's this? Confused for all these stuff. Wash hands, take chicken out of the fridge, and take a nap. Anderson. Hey, yeah. let's get back to work. Over yeah, yeah, I'm com I'm coming. Uh, here we go. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Tripod? Were Was they gonna film camera? it? I think that's everything. For now. It Wait, were they gonna film this? Hello? Sorry, I know I cut them off. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from. That's the thing we have to find out next. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind uh, place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. Using our intuition, Saga can discover new clues and by profiling people of interest. Okay. So... Missing person ritual murder. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. Whoa. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. How do you, how, how do we know this though? Okay, I don't know. Nightingale was <laughs> the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. It At is. Home. They are talking about Alan. They are talking about Alan. Random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm. Thirteen years, but why? Okay. So does it mean I have to go look at the lake? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. All right, you do that. So first clue about Alan this is the way, whole right? clicking Mr. thing. Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably I guess like her her intuition Safety. is telling her because like the body is like they bloated. For him. Right? When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, hmm. dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. It, it does. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Which is mm -hmm. late, I'll call you in late. Lots of questions. Uh -huh, Lots it's of getting dark. <laughs> I didn't know trees got that big. Damn. The creeps. You need to get out more. No, I kind of agree it with is him. Kind this of is creepy, kind of, This is weird. Oh, hello? There's a piece of paper on the ground. Can you read it? No? <gasps> is that... Is that Alan's pages? From his book? Oh, that is. That is. That has to be. That has to be. Tracks. Barefoot. 
Nightingales? They Oh, I didn't mean to cut her off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. <laughs> it is! Line it is! Pressed out and edits added with a pen. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. So, the, the thing and about the Alan's book, found. or that he was writing about the in the first, first game, it comes true, but it turns into like a nightmare version of it. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Like a oh message. my god! Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even if they knew it would end up hurting them? This is true. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Oh Nightingale my God. came this way. <laughs> okay. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Okay, hang on. Sorry. I know I shouldn't be doing this now, but... Might as well put it there. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Because I know I shouldn't be doing this right now, but like at the we same time I need to know. Woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. But that's what they were doing. They were digging his what? heart out. Is that part of like what the cult is? You made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Yeah, can we get to the lake somehow? Because I would like to do that. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. You think there's going to be like another page in there? Probably, Casey, right? I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. There might be a page in there, that's what I'm assuming. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. No! <laughs> I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called. To say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key. Okay, we can need to talk to those people with the witness. Gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay, thank you. Cool. Thanks. Take the car back to Bright Falls. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? Yes. I could use a cup of coffee. <laughs> Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds I do good. think it's kind of cool that we're an investigator. Not that I didn't like playing as Alan. Alan's parts were super intense for the first game. It was really intense. So it's kind of interesting to like do this like kind of like, like a nice slow so pace investigating. I kind of like Pretty it. Woods. It builds up the tension though because I'm scared something's going to happen. <laughs> we should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Go, I would not hike exactly here, just saying. Task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? Yeah. To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw Maybe it away? they need to film it, like, Stuck proof that they did it or something? I don't know. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. Especially predicting, like, what exactly is happening. These hunches were moving fast. 
I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Oh, girl. How naive you are to know. Actually, not know what's gonna happen. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field Dear office? Best. No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. All right. If this means I can like discover new things, because it's been thirteen years since <laughs> the diner's just up the waterfront. Alan was here. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Wait, where is the map? Oh, I need to get, I need to update my map. I think. Welcome to Brightfall. So every time I get to a new area, I have to find the map. Got you. Okay. So, oh dear, diners down there. The manor. Ooh, this is so interesting. All the boats and everything too. All right, here we go. This is the diner. Let me guess. <gasps> Sean <Yeah>. Ashmore! <laughs> Welcome to Bright Falls. So he's a coffeeer. Nice he's a sheriff. I got you both some coffee. Thank well, you. Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Okay. I was told there was a witness. The deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. I don't think they They're were, like from what we saw, they were they were nurse. just- I'll see what they have to say. Looking around. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. My prediction is they were looking into Alan Wake. That's we what I think. through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? I don't sure. want to hear what that's to say. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah. That's exactly That's right. why it was closed off, which kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that lake's cursed. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Sorry, I just want to look around before I start Good talking. Day. Oh. Jukes box is out of order. The poor thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. Big fan of coconut, but co but as the next person, but come on! <laughs> okay. So we can't do that. Alright. Are you the bookers? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. Oh. From New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake. What I was there? right. I see, like getting some details. I was right. Okay. Can you tell me what you saw? So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird. Sh he must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Hmm. Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? I mean, they're wearing deer heads. That's the masks, my first clue. The <laughs> exactly. Thank you. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, 
And then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. You found a what? Page? I'm assuming a page. Okay. Hmm. Profiling, huh? The bookers. Cult, the of, the cult tree. of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. We saw the that too. Wants her spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Okay, Cauldron Lake. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's uh, book. That, Nothing to do with the Maybe murder. that explains the hole in the they fence? Telling the truth. Yeah. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Oh, gone wait. missing here 13 years ago. This is now interesting. He suddenly turned up. Only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. Okay, we already saw this. We already saw this anyway. It's okay. But that was the one of the things that. So I can I can hear it again. I can hear Alan say it again if he needs to. I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Why would you want to keep it anyway? Just take a picture of it. <laughs> take a picture hey, of it and give it to the cops or something. Be helpful. Do me a favor. Stay <gasps> down for now in case we have any Rose. Questions. Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh God. Saga. Saga Anderson. As I live. Is this the same girl from the first game? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful. Awful thing happened to your baby girl. What? How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. So weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. What? You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That was weird. What? Okay. Why not tell the police what you saw? A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't. Well, listen. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like not their fault. Those two are kind of stupid. <laughs> now, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is okay. my case now. And no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Saga. Yeah, you're welcome. This mug always Not cheers me up. the worst mom. <laughs> okay, I guess we saved Rose for later then. How exactly do we know each other? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Hmm. Seen anything strange? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. I think that's kind of bad because be the cult one. of the tree are probably going to use that. Okay, wait. Before I continue, I'm going to look this up because I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's the same girl, right? In Alan Week 1? Yeah, she is the same girl. I have a feeling maybe it's because Alan's writing the story right now. Like I mentioned earlier, his whatever he writes will come true in 
r the real world. So I imagine he's probably writing that Rose All knows set. us. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. Let's go. Uh, okay. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Yeah. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not hmm. gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. <laughs> I hope not. Please don't be weird. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have yeah. a good one, Sheriff. Okay. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Okay, well, she acts what like she knows now? me. She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Oh, boy. We're gonna dig into Rose later, I guess. Because I am curious. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate this. It support, looks the Sheriff. same! It just looks oh, so same. updated, as in, like, you know, on the PS5. <laughs> Adventure oh, tour. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also. What the hell? Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Coscola Brothers Adventure Tour. Unforgettable <laughs> tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala Botic Best, Copy Roaster slash tour guide by Copy World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. Yeah, that especially the lake. Uncle. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, the government. <laughs> You think that's who helped the bookers, maybe? Or they just did it on their own? Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. How is this allowed to be played on TV if they just say the government? <laughs> a tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this wow. limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. Huh. I figured that would be like some sort of clue for me or something. Anyway. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. That would be me. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, hmm. aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, oh. Nelson. Wait. Gear? How do I look at my gear? How do I do that? I'm nosy. Let me I'll look at everything. Right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. <laughs> kill, a, kill the Joe. Make some mo. Okay. No speeding happening here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. Lucy. Okay, nothing really weird happening so far. Oh, neat. Wait. I know I should be going at the morgue and whatever. Up an man. Be right. All right. Bathroom. Anything weird in here? Uh, I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them. And there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. The theft is taken seriously around here. It's Sheriff Station for Pete's sake. One of these days I'm going to catch you red-handed. And you better believe that you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. Cut out not counts the toilet paper roll. It sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, sir. Sorry. 
So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you cool. guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Oh, it's creepy down here. Great. Something about morgues. They always Ooh. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. This is really creepy. I know it's a morgue, but oh my god. Damn, bro, turn okay. some lights on. <laughs> Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Oh, gross. Okay. What was the cause of death? The cause what of death? I, I would assume damage? this. <laughs> uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Mm-hmm. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Oh. Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Maybe they wrote it on him. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. There's writing on here. More writing. Can't make it out. Okay. I don't know. Sorry. Didn't mean to cut them off. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay. Anything to learn from the body? Let's go with... There's definitely something in his chest. Can we... Can Did we... The leave it there? Open it? Oh, God. Ew, 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 ew! It's a manuscript, isn't it? Girl, where are your gloves at? Oh my god. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. Does that mean he's gonna come back to life and kill we us? found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. What happened? What's going on? No, 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 wait. What? Sheriff? What the hell? Ah! Show me the clicker. Oh my god. Hell no. What? You need light! Get your Didn't flashlight. See Could not see into bright light. <sighs> Didn't see or could not see into bright light. So, so like our flashlight, right? Hello? Stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Is this good enough? He can't see me in the light. What happened to everybody else? Are they dead? My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Help 
Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from the safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Wait, where? Girl, where do I go? There, 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 there. Give me this, give me this. Please don't. Vanished. This is so much worse than <laughs> This is so much worse than the first game. <laughs> End of chapter what? Oh my god. I don't even know what to say right now. All right, guys, I think that is my cue to end this video. We're gonna stop at chapter one because that was intense. I, it feels so different. I don't know how to explain it because like in the first game, you use your flashlight and you just hold the light up to them and then they'll just vanish. I feel like you can't even do that anymore because she still had to shoot her gun even though she was holding the flashlight. Maybe I have to get a stronger flashlight. I don't know, because I do remember doing that in the first game, you have to get a stronger light, but um, this is intense. So something obviously weird is happening. Alan is writing another story that seems to be surrounding Saga. I don't know where our partner went. He disappeared. Sheriff d vanished before everybody's eyes too. But this cult of the tree, how is this related to like Alan? Is it just because he wrote them into the story? Or is it something that's part of something bigger? I don't know. And also Rose was kind of creeping me out in the diner, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Alan Wake 2, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you once again to Remedy Entertainment for writing me a copy of this game early. I cannot wait to play the rest of this. And that was really cool though, this and investigating everything. I really loved it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!